<laughs> hey everyone, Micah here with Electric. Today I'm coming to you from Eurobike 2022, where we're testing out Bosch's brand new ABS braking. Let's take it for a spin. Someone who's got my name, but I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor on YouTube, the Chesapeake Climate Action Network, a nonprofit that's promoting clean energy to fight climate change. They're running a fundraiser that could see you win a brand new top of the line electric vehicle while helping a good cause. The raffle is still undersold, with just over half of the tickets spoken for at evraffle.org. Seacan already has a mint condition Rivian electric pickup truck waiting in their garage so that the lucky winner can receive the keys right away. Or if you'd rather have a Tesla, they'll let you build your own with up to $135,000 in Tesla credits. A ticket only costs 200 bucks and the proceeds go to the nonprofit's work to save the planet. You know what else could help save the planet? Switching from your gas guzzler commuter to an efficient electric bike. And safety innovations like Bosch's ABS brakes are making that an even more enticing proposition. Bosch unveiled its new updated anti-lock braking system for electric bikes at Eurobike 2022, and we started by checking out the technology at the company's booth. It works similarly to motorcycle ABS, which makes sense since Bosch has years of experience with motorcycle ABS. The system uses a speed sensor on each wheel to compare rotation speed between the two during braking. If the front wheel tries to slow down or stop compared to the rear wheel, the hydraulic actuator mounted on the front fork will pulse the braking power to ensure that the wheel doesn't lock up. Different modes of ABS, which relate to different intensities, can be selected, letting riders dial in how aggressive they want their ABS to feel. To test the system out, we grabbed a full suspension mountain bike equipped with the ABS and an electric cargo bike that felt like it could carry half a kindergarten class to school. Both are great examples of when you'd really want to have front wheel ABS on an e-bike. With mountain bikes, you're often braking on loose dirt and slippery conditions. Newer riders can easily lock up the front wheel in a turn resulting in a slide, or in a downhill straightaway resulting in an over the bars crash. Even experienced riders can accidentally lock up the front wheel from time to time, which can be difficult to recover from. Electric cargo bikes, especially those that carry children, magnify the consequence of a braking induced crash, so the stakes are pretty high to get this right. On the cargo bike, we made several attempts to either skid the front wheel or get rear wheel lift, riding up to top speed and then braking hard on the front. But each time we came away unscathed with elbow skin and collarbones fully intact. Seth took the mountain bike to some gravel to see how panic braking would work on loose terrain, which is basically a worst case scenario. Even going full gorilla grip on the brakes, you can see how the front wheel nicely comes to a smooth stop instead of locking up and sliding through the gravel. For comparison, you can also see how the rear wheel locks up instantly, though that's not as big of an issue for control as you can just ride out a rear wheel lockup. But for front wheel braking, this level of performance in loose gravel is impressive and shows just how far the technology has come. For now, Bosch is only working with Magura, but plans to open up its Bosch ABS to other brake manufacturers as well. And of course, you're only going to find Bosch's ABS on Bosch-powered e-bikes at the moment. But as the technology becomes more widespread and e-bike ABS adoption rates climb, we could be headed for a world with many fewer braking-related e-bike crashes. That's a world I want to ride in. Thanks for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed that first test of Bosch's new anti-lock brake system for e-bikes. If you did enjoy the video, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.